Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you what it's like to be on call for a weekend at my lab. This is actually Memorial Day weekend, so I will be on call Saturday and Memorial Day, which is Monday. At my lab, the person who was on call is responsible for coordinating and making sure that all the samples marked for weekend delivery get there, are received, and a session properly over the weekend. So this is actually the day before, so basically Friday. I'm home from work and what I'm doing now is going through my email and checking to see what packages are scheduled for delivery over the weekend. And what I'm doing is writing down the tracking number as well as the courier who I should be expecting it from. Once I've written down all of the tracking number that I'm expecting, I will be calling certain couriers to schedule a delivery time with them. I told them this particular Saturday that I would like for them to come at 9.30 a.m. You don't have to schedule them that early. It's definitely personal preference. I typically like to schedule in the morning times. The reason it's so imperative to do your due diligence when you're the person on call is because the building that we operate in is actually locked over the weekend and so no carriers or anyone for that matter can get into the building without a badge. So if the carriers were to come and you're not there or something of that sort, they will leave because they will assume that we are closed because technically we are closed over the weekend and then you'll get a notification and certain samples, depending on when they were collected and how long they've been traveling, have a certain time frame in which we have to accept them and spin them down into plasma. And so if we were to miss a package and for some reason we were on that last day, then that sample will be considered no good. Here it is Saturday morning and the first thing that I am doing is checking to see if any more package notifications came in overnight. And on this particular day, four more packages came in overnight that I should have been expecting. And so I'm basically just doing the same thing that I did the day before, which is writing down these additional tracking numbers as well as the courier that I am expecting them from. The second phone that you see here on my desk is the on-call cell phone that we use for the office. Typically, you can take this phone home and basically just do whatever you typically do for your on-call routine. I just use my regular cell phone because I have my work email and things like that on my cell phone. So I just give carriers and delivery people my number. So I have the on-call cell phone here with me because if someone were to call the actual office number, it would get forwarded to the on-call phone. Quickstat was late today and I was waiting for FedEx because they weren't scheduled to come until 12 p.m. So while I wait for them, I was just trying to fill my time. So here I was just doing some cleaning in the lab. I'll go online and play on my phone and honestly just whatever it takes to fill my time. It's very, very rare. This is actually the first time that I've had to wait on packages. So I wasn't really prepared or I didn't bring things to do. So that's what I'm doing now, just trying to fill my time as I wait for these packages. Quick Stat was supposed to be there at 9.30, if I was supposed to come by 12. So I was just waiting for all of these packages to arrive. And here I am still waiting for the packages to arrive, just checking to see where they are and then just doing some reading and things like that on my computer as I wait. Here it is 12 o'clock and at this point none of the packages had came so I was pretty annoyed. I ended up having to go to FedEx after 2 p.m. to pick up the four packages that did not come and I had to reschedule with QuickSat so they could come and drop off the one package that was coming today at which they were supposed to get there the second time at 3 o'clock but they actually did not get there until 4.15. So because of that I did not spin anything down today because luckily everything was within the time frame. I just went and picked up everything and put everything into the computer, uh, documented everything and then I just went home for the day. Also I did not stay here all day. I did go home at some point and eat lunch and walk my dog and then that's when I went to pick up the FedEx packages. Thank you. 
And so here are all the samples that I received on Saturday. It is now Monday and I wanted to jump right into everything and start spinning things down. It's around 9.30 in the morning in this clip and I have already received three more packages along with Saturday samples that we had to spin down for the day. Feel so right. So once I entered in all of these new samples into the computer, the next thing I had to do was label all of the tubes and then I was able to start the spin down process in the next room. It's like something out of a movie You see right through me It's like you already do me We can go, we can go up Oh, we can go, we can go down Left or right, do or die So here are all 20 tubes that I'm going to start out with. You can see some of the ones that have been sitting since Saturday have already started to separate into plasma. Ideally, I would have spun down the first tube that I got on Saturday on that same day. However, since they came so late, I did not want to stay, you know, any longer for the day. The centrifuge that I'm using for first round of spin down does hold a max of 16 tubes. So I will have to split everything into two runs. Here I am taking the plasma from the blood tube and putting them into these 15 mil tubes and I will be spinning these down for a second time to just make sure that we have separated the plasma completely and there's no pellets left. Normally I would be getting rid of the blood tubes once I have gathered the plasma from the tubes but because this process is something that someone normally double checks and I'm here by myself. On Monday, a second person will look through the tubes and make sure they are labeled correctly, make sure I entered everything correctly into the computer, and double check all of my plasma tubes as well. And once that's done, then the blood tubes will be thrown away. In the middle of me doing spin down, another package came with four more samples. So here I'm quickly filling out all of the documentation to accept the samples. That way I could get them in the centrifuge for the first round with the second set of tubes that I was doing, if that makes sense. Another package does come later on in the day once I was finished doing everything and I could have left it for Monday However, I didn't want that to be someone else's responsibility So I just went ahead and spun that one down as well, but because it was only one tube it did not take me long at all I am finally almost done with my on-call shift I am just entering in all the plasma that we collected from all the blood tubes
so in total I did have 25 blood tubes to spin down for the weekend and once again I will be leaving the blood tube so that someone can double check them Monday morning and then they will be discarded and then all of the plasma tubes will be going in the freezer as is that way those can be double checked as well and once those have been verified by a second person then they will be stored in the proper boxes until testing Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly. here is where everything comes full circle I am scanning in all of the documentation that I filled out when I first received the samples and then once I scan those in I'm going to go to my computer, rename them the appropriate name and then send them to all of those tracking numbers that we wrote down on Friday and then Saturday morning. The paper that I'm sending is confirmation of receipts, just letting the shippers know that we did receive the samples and letting them know what type of condition that we've received them in and if they are good for testing or not. Once I send my last confirmation of receipt, I am officially done for the weekend and I can head home. As always, thank you guys for watching and let me know what you think of this video down below. Let me know what you like to see next and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe while you're here. And I will see you guys next time.